Hello everyone, it's DA here and today we'll be taking a look at the newly designed Narrowpoint 2.0 and this is our rogue school and with this, most of the assassin's dream can come true. As this review goes on, I will highlight some changes and help you decide if it is still worth the dedication. This school has 4 passives and 6 active abilities all revolving around the true nature of a spy, but unfortunately Shadow Step has been removed for some reason or the other. For the passives, Affinity Spike grants increasing affinity from any melee kills, Power Spike increases the time it takes for your combo counter to decay so your combos actually last a little bit much longer. Mind Step increases the operator's movement speed and this is also a way bound so you can share this with other schools as well. And the same goes for Mind Spirit which increases the speed of forward dash. Active abilities are more of a mix between Loki and Nick's powers but with its own variation of a Tenno operator. Void Hunter reveals enemies through the walls, Void Stalker increases critical chance on your melee weapons which then decreases over time. With executing dash, a void dash opens enemies up for finishers with an increase in finisher damage as well. Surgeon dash will increase the radius of void dash and also increases the damage as well. Disorienting blast will confuse enemies whenever you blast them and disarming blast will disarm the enemies in the same way. So some of these abilities can only be unlocked before the other one so you can fully invest in a node, however I will suggest that you unlock the passives first, then go towards executing dash and then disorienting dash. This tool will let you open enemies up for finisher or either confuse them doing the same thing. So what makes this important since we no longer have shadow step? Because a lot of you know, Shadow Step was the only main reason why most people use Narrowman and that was the huge benefit for it. Well, I will say that the new benefit for this will only be that it comes from your operator's movement speed and also the ability to purge the battlefield as one man army. Narrowman's abilities are beneficial in the heaviest moments to create confusion and also turn the tides of the battle even if just for a split second. So you have the ability to confuse enemies or even open them for finisher and those will be the only main reason that I will say that you should go for Narrowman Focus School. The Affinity Spike will also increase the amount of focus you will get from farming focus because that is actually going to be a really great thing when it comes to using this and actually combining this with your melee weapons. However, if I have to finalize this, this will be only good for you if you play solo all the time. And of course, if you want to play that lone wolf hero kind of mode. Other than that, I think that this is not really a reasonable school for you and it still needs a little bit of a rework here and there and maybe bring back some abilities like Shadow Step. Thank you very much for watching, hope you guys find this informative and if you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, it is DS signing out, I'll see you all in the next one.